Okay, welcome to a GIMP tutorial about redesign the school. These are specifically for working on things that you would want to do and to redesign um, the school spaces. So we're going to work on changing the color of something, removing something, and adding something. A lot of these things were talked about during tutorials in class, and there is a lot on the slideshow that you can also watch as well. So let's get started. Let's start with changing the color of something like a wall or something. Okay. Let's see. Let's do something simple. All right. So I want to change the color of this pole. Now, anything you do to your redesign uh, photos should be done on a new layer. Now, adding a new layer is pretty simple. You can click on this plus over here in the layers tab or you can come up to the layers in the menu and just say new layer. You always want to change the name of the layer so that it tells you what you did on that. So this I just called this color change pole. All right, I'm just going to hit OK. It is now a transparent layer. There's nothing on it. So what I want to do is I want to paint this pole. So I need to create a selection for this pole. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the selection tools. There's the rectangle, the circle, or ellipse. There's a lasso. I could do it freehand if I wanted to. I could kind of uh, check a region, and it would try to select it. Or if we have white backgrounds or black backgrounds, we can use the color select tool. But we're going to use the scissors like we did for, this, for the squirrel. I'm going to use Shift Plus to get closer. I'll just use the, the zoom down here. And I'm going to start by clicking two points. OK. So it, it kind of cut it off a little bit, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. That's a little bit better. Now I'm going to continue on a little bit at a time using two fingers to move um, down. You see right here, I can actually get right on it, click and hold and pull it back and kind of make it go to the pole because it's trying to go onto this metal part back here. All right, we'll go down here, go down here. Oh, it's on the table now. I don't want that on the table. Go around the table. I'll go down here. This is being, you know, I could have just cut across, but I'm showing you how you really should be trying to get in close. Okay, up we go. Pull this one over here. This one here. Moving up. Let's see if we can get a big one. Yep, this metal didn't pick up quite well. Here we go and up to the top so and this little connect two connected rings means it's connected now that's a selection but we need to create press enter for it to be a, an official an official selection now if you really want to get in the higher you should save this selection because you once it once we um, click off of it um, we lose it but we might want to come back to it because we might want to do something else to the pole so if you click on the paths there's only two think tabs we've been working with, layers and path. If you come down here and you say selection to path, it actually remembers it. And we can actually come back here and say path to selection again. So we can bring back this pole if we ever want to. But we don't want to. Right now we're just going to back up a little bit. And we're just going to now flip over here to this layer. We still have the selection of the pole. And we're going to use the paint bucket. And we're going to, let's go with a blue, because we are the sharks. There you go, nice light blue. Now, do you see, outside of the selection, I can't even do anything. I only can do things to end the selection, like that. So if I click on it, it will fill that whole selection with light blue. But it just looks like it's right on there. So in order for it to make it look like it's on the pole, we need this darker area on this side of the pool and we need the lighter part of the side pool. So we can do that easy with a layer mode. See this word mode here? It's normal right now. If we click and hold, we can come to the word. There's a lot of different ones to try. But if we do overlay, kind of looks a little bit better. Um, we can always come and try hue. That's a little bit better. Hue and overlay seem to work, but there's also one called grain Merge. Mm, I think I like the one before that. I'm going to go with Hue. Oh, 
not that it's okay. That's um, pin light. No, I'm gonna go back. Let's try Q. Oh yeah, that definitely looks good. So that's how you would change the color of the walls. Some of these walls you're gonna have to go around a lot of different things or you need to erase them, okay? So I would I would create a different layer for every section you do so that you can keep them separated and you can and you can decide what layer mode is going to work for that that section because the lighting is going to change things. All right, so let's take a look at what we're doing. Let's do let's do a change in the color of one more thing. Let's do this because this has a problem, doesn't it? So let's uh, change color. Okay, I've got a layer right here. I'm going to come to my image. I'm going to do the easy thing first. I'm going to use the scissor tool to create my boundary. Oh, this one doesn't look good. So it's going in. Doesn't look good. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to go right over that. Oh, that didn't look good. I'm going to move it over. It's pretty good. I'm going to erase this plant in the next. Um, next so we'll just I'm gonna just leave it in it but if I hit enter and I'm gonna go over the past tool I'm just gonna kind of save this so I don't have to do that again go back to my layers the problem is if I fill it in it's gonna it's gonna fill in this circle which doesn't isn't gonna get colored either is it so what I want to do is if you look down here the scissor tool this there's there's several modes down here so the selection is already there I can add to the current selection. I can subtract from the current selection. All right. So those are two really important. If I wanted to add something to this selection, like this, I could add something over here. I forgot to click on it actually. So let's let's just say I'm going to subtract from this selection here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go around the circle. And whatever I create, the next selection I actually create is going to subtract from the. So watch this. Hit enter. And now I have just this part selected. I'm going to go back to the path. And I'm going to say, remember it. And there, look, you can even see the little circle cut out in the selection. Go back to my layers. And go to the change color because I don't want to, I don't want to paint. Let me show you what happens if you try to fill it in. It only fills in parts that are the same color and it makes it look really spotty. It does not look good. Okay, That's because I'm trying to fill on the actual image. So I'm going to back up, Command Z, go to the change color, and wham! So now I can go up to my modes and let's try overlay makes it look a little green. So one thing you can do is come up to the color and you can do you can change the color of, of this by all these different um, features. Color balance. So let's see. Let's see I'm changing the purple, gray. So I'm gonna cancel that. I use Q saturation and if you just use this word hue, you can kind of move it. We're going more green now, aren't we? Let's go back this way a little more. There we go. Nice light blue, maybe again, or purple. I'm just kind of testing it out. Okay, let's see. That's nice, nice lavender, I guess. All right. So. If I just want to take a look at what it looks like, so I'm going to select none, and there's the, there is a finished one, a finished uh, colored wall, you know, and I can zoom in, and I can see the edge, you know, I can see there's a little bit of problem right there. Oh, that's a big problem. So watch this. So what I can do is I've got that color on. I'm on my layer. I'm just going to go to the paintbrush. Nope. Sorry. I'm 
Okay. Let me back up a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, I would need to go in and um, change that in, on the mode as well. Oops. Okay. Okay, so let me, let me, let me get that. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave that where it is at right now. And then I'm going to say, let's remove something. Like I told you again about this. This plant is, I don't like it. So what I'm, I'm just gonna turn off this layer with a little eyeball so I don't have to worry about it right now. And then I'm gonna add a new, light, uh, new layer called remove plant. I wanna put the remove plant before the color change. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the clone tool. So I wanna clone part of the wall that doesn't have a plant on it. So here's the clone tool. I need to get a little bit bigger. That's too big. <gasps> too big still. Oh my gosh. Let's go with 100. Okay. I'm going to do it just like this. Okay. Okay. So if you hold Command and you click, it'll remember that part of the wall. Okay. Then I'm going to come over to my layer. Layer for remove plant. And I'm going to start removing the plant. Okay. Ooh, and then I'm going to come over here again. I'm going to take a picture of, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. You can use different brushes too. Sometimes this brush really works. So I'm going to clone instead. I'm going to clone in the rocks. Command click. I'm in the rocks. I go back to my remove plant. Now I'm going to just use these rocks to paint over the plant. Okay. I also got this part of the plant or, or, or part of the plant that is kind of in between. So I'm going to click here, go back to remove plant, and I'm going to try to just. And it's like it's not even there anymore. Okay, so remove the plant. The color change stays stays the same. You can tell there's a little bit of discoloring, but if you look, here is what I cloned. This is the only thing on this layer, and it's that's the kind of way we should see is that your everything should be on its own layer. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, let's do, try another remove. Okay, so removing something using the clone tool, you're going to have to find somewhere that. Uh, is is usable. So let's say I want to remove this rock. I could still go over here, click on these rocks, go back to. I should do it on its own layer. Watch, it's called remove rock. I'm on the remove rock, and then I'm just going to clone. I you know I might want to clone in something from another picture because these are all. You know, I may not want to put rocks here like white rocks over but that's what I'm using you can clone from any picture that you have up here so you can open up a picture with with something you want in order to clone it I could do over I could go over this whole plant as well so this would be difficult to get this plant out of here and try to just see the stairs so you might want to make sure that you're picking pictures that have um, things that you can remove more easily or you're going to take the time to do it Okay, so let's see what else we got. Oh, adding something. Okay, we changed the color. We've removed something. Now we want to add something. Okay. So in my desktop, I think I have a sharp. Okay, here's the palm tree. I'm going to open. I'm going to open this with GIMP. Try to open it up here. Okay. I'm going to open up this cartoon tree with GIMP. 2.10. I'm going to open up and see what the cafeteria table. Okay. 
These are just JPEGs that I found online. They have white backgrounds, which is really good. I'm going to show you why. Because we could cut them out with a scissor tool. That's perfectly okay. To go around this, all of this with a scissor tool. But there is a selection tool called um, Select by Color. So there's gray and there's a black here. But if I say Select by Color and I click white, it will. It's selected all the white. Okay, it may look like the trees are selected, but the opposite of the trees are selected. Just the white around the trees is selected. And there's this great tool in Select called Invert. And it means to reverse the selection. So everything not selected right now will be selected. When I invert, if I do that, now I have all the trees, they are selected. And I can Command C, meaning I'm copying the selection. I could also come here to paths and say, and there's the path right there showing the selection. So I'm gonna go back to layers and I'm gonna come over to let's see, let's put it, let's put it back here. So I want to create a layer called trees. Two R's. Okay. trees and I'm going to just paste. Now when you paste something from one picture to the next they become a floating selection. All right, That means you, you can move them around when you want and then you have to anchor them to your layer. This is what this little anchor does. So I'm gonna get zoomed in a little bit because I need to grab these. Ooh, I can put them on the pole. They're almost right on the pole but I'm gonna move them over to this wall over here. So I'm gonna click the move tool So when I clicked on the move tool, it had it had clicked on this move selection. We wanted to be move um, the layer, so we're the floating layer, the pasted layer. So I'm gonna be very careful. Oh no, it's anchored them already. Let's back up. Okay. Be careful because it tried to move the layer below. So I have to get in really close. So I make sure that I'm grabbing the layer that I want. All right, so now I, it's in basically the space I want it. Now I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to use the scale tool. Okay, I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to. Reset. I'm going to reset that. I'm going to back up. And it was a pasted layer. Yeah. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger first. I'm going back to the paste layer. I'm going to click on the scale tool and I'm going to click on now. <laughs> They're so small that I, was, I wasn't was able to click it. So I'm going to just make these bigger. Yeah, let's make them big enough to fit on that wall. Like that. I'm going to set scale. Now I'm going to go back to the move tool because I want to move them. There we go. All right, and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to anchor the layer. And then I could make them. They look like they're on the wall, but I could start messing around with um, gray merge. It doesn't look very good. So you have to use your judgment on the type of mode. I'm just going to go back to normal. I think they look fine. I might I might just just copy them. Paste another one on there and um and then try to move that layer over. But, you know, to make it look be very careful when you move it. And make sure you're not moving the wrong one. Now, I could you see that looks looks pretty good right but there's a problem down here where the, the table is in front I could erase the table or I could kinda come in here and I could actually 
just use the eraser on this part of the tree and say, hey, you know what? Maybe you can see that. So I'm on the trees, the second trees, and I'm just erasing parts that should not be seen. Okay, this part right here, the leg. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just using using the tools over here to make the layers look good. Okay. So let me show you. Oh, let's try this one. Let's try to put this. Oh, let's try something else. Mm -hmm. The cat. Let's, um, oh, let's put this one down. I'm going to open this one up. Okay, so now I got my, this, uh, this, this design I think would be cool to put onto the wall. So I'm going to um, use the color select tool, click the white background, okay. And I'm going to select and invert it because I really want just the black part. And I can come over to paths and set a path in case I need to come back. It's pretty easy to select that. There's a lot. So there's the lines. And I come over here to the Again, I need a new layer for, I'm going to just call it design. And I'm going to command command V. Uh oh. Back up, it pasted the command C, command V. Oh, wow. There's a problem with that, isn't it? It's huge. So before I do anything, I'm going to scale it using the scale tool. Click on it. Let's just make it really small. Let's hit scale first. Okay, there it is. Make it smaller. Hit scale. And let's move it into position to see if that looks any good. Yeah, that, the problem is, is it, I need to make sure that I'm actually on the site. Okay, there. Okay. Put it right. Let's put it above that. Okay. And then I'm going to use the the perspective tool to make it look like, because there's a there's an angle right here. And there's an angle here that we need to match so that it looks like it's actually on the wall. If you watch the tutorial about the shark logo um, in the hallway, it uses that one too. So I'm going to click on the perspective tool, click on it, and I'm going to match the top with this line right here. About like that. I'm going to, I've got to match this bottom one, which is a little bit more difficult. I could put the grid system up here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to select none. Wait. Oh, I'm going to anchor it to that layer. Let's take a look. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to take the eraser and I'm going to erase some of this um, part of it. And it, it may be a little easier to look if I take everything off. You see, it copied over this little square part. So I'm just using an eraser to erase it. Oop. Bring everything back. There we go. Minus, minus. There we go. It's not centered, so that irritates me. So I'm going to use the Move tool. Click on it. And just move it over a little bit. Uh-oh. Nope. You gotta you gotta look at these tools down here. Move the top layer. No, move the selection. Okay. So there we go. I could put it on the top, and it would be more black. If I put it underneath, the blue will feed into it. You can see a little bit. So that's how you do all of these things: changing the color, removing something and adding something. I hope you had fun.
25 minutes. Oof. All right. But I covered everything that uh, technical skills that you need to, to find. Thank you very much.